Hey guys, Mark from Oregon Bushcraft here. Just wanted to uh, show you how I do hems on nylon. Um, I use some grow grain ribbon. Uh, this is uh, three quarters of an inch, I believe. And I just fold it and then fold it again, kind of tighten it up. And then I have a uh, little bucket of paper clips here. And that just holds it, holds it together nicely. Uh, <clears throat> then I run an iron over the top, which gives me a nice seam. And then when it comes time to sew it, this hasn't been ironed yet. When it comes time to sew it, I can just feed it right through. And that gives me... Uh, before I stitch it, I pull the grow grain out. But that gives me a really, really clean seam. And this is a double stitch, so I do a straight stitch and then a zigzag stitch over the top of that. So it, it does allow it to, to stretch a little uh, without the thread breaking. All right, so this is basically uh, how I use a grow grain to create my hem. And I use a box hem, which means it's uh, folded twice. Just lay out my nylon and my grow grain. Start at the corner, line up the edges, flip it over once, then flip it over again, hold it in place, throw a clip on there. I'll put one on on both ends, or right next to the end here. And then it's basically just a matter of continuing that fold and then every six inches or so uh, throw another one of these clips on there Now what we do, take it back to the beginning, get everything laid out, uh, applying quite a bit of pressure to the, to the iron, and that's basically what allows me to get it done in one pass. Just take it up to the next clip, rinse and repeat. All right, so get rid of the grow grain, just pull that out. Get the thread injector ready. So we're going to do a straight stitch, a length of two, and a, uh, we're going to move the needle all the way over in the foot. And then we'll go back to the beginning. And uh, turn the iron off. <coughs> and then just place everything below us there. And then just fold this over. We're going to lock the stitch. I kind of go overkill on the, on the locking.
in. We just slow down a little bit. Lock that stitch in. See that there. Now we change the uh, stitch length down to one. Do a few passes, switch it to zero just to lock it in. All right, so this is Mark from Oregon Bushcraft. I'm going to go put some shock cord in this bad boy and uh, clean up the ends a little bit. It, this is polyester thread that I'm using. Uh, so what I do is take a lighter and uh, melt the thread ends. And it, you know, just like the same way you would with, uh, with paracord. And it does create a little uh, bead of melted polyester on there. All right, this is Mark from Oregon Bushcraft. We'll see you next time.